So a lot of people are using the Mucinex method to conceive and here's how it works. When we look at fertility and the use of medications such as Mucinex, the reason why that people think that this is going to be a way that's going to help increase chances of fertility is that the actual medication is going to thin secretions. Now, when we think of thinning secretions, we are usually looking at it from a perspective of cervical secretions. Mucinex has an active ingredient, which is called guanfenesine, and this is the actual ingredient that thins and reduces the viscosity of secretions. If one were to take Mucinex during a fertile window, it is important to understand that the medication should still be taken as directed in order to prevent any side effects or complications. Now, side effects that could occur when taking Mucinex include anything such as blurred vision, dizziness, sometimes sweating, and also sometimes unusual weakness. I took one 30 minutes before trying to conceive every single night. The goal with taking Mucinex in that window is to, again, thin the cervical mucus. But when we actually look at the data and the studies that have been done on Mucinex and fertility, we know that it hasn't significantly improved the quality of cervical mucus, which could, again, help with some of the motility of the sperm getting to the egg. However, it is, again, something that women can try on their own, but there is no strong data that's going to say that it's significantly going to increase their chances of fertility. And the other thing that is to consider is that cervical mucus is only one part of what may be contributing to a fertility or infertility issue. And so it is really important that people understand that there's so many variables that factor into the possibility of conception and cervical mucus is just one aspect of that. Now, when we look at the different trends that we may see on social media, such as Instagram and TikTok, I think that is so important for every woman to take into account that they need to discuss this specifically with their doctor to ensure that it doesn't cause any harm, but also that they are following recommended ways for them to improve their chances in health and wellness.